Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota Tundra SR5 TRD Off-Road in the color Lunar Rock. Let's take a look. Starting up front, underneath the hood, we have the twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 engine. It's automatic transmission. Gets up to 389 horsepower, 479 pound foot of torque, towing capacity up to 8,289 uh, pounds, and you have payload up to 1,819. Up front, you've got your LED headlights, customer agent running lights, fog lights down below. On your front grille, you have the logos for the Tundra as well as for the TRD. And across the front bumper, you'll find these little round nodules. These guys are your front parking sensors. On to the side here, we have 18-inch alloy wheels. Then on both your front doors, you'll find your Tundra badge. Side mirrors include integrated turn signals and blind spot monitoring. And then on both your front handles, you have this little dimple. We'll talk about this guy more on your driver's side. Heading back, all your rear windows come with factory tinting. And on both your rear doors, you have your SR5 trim level badge. In the back, we have the bed lamps turned on. These guys can be turned off or work automatically with opening and closing of doors. Your rear windshield is also power adjustable. We'll look at controls for both of those guys when we get inside of the cab. On either side of your bed, you have your TRD 4x4 off-road sticker. Back of the unit, you've got the little nodules again, which are again your backup parking sensors here. 4x4 badge in the left-hand corner, you have your hitch receiver and spare mounted underneath. And you have that Tundra logo stamped into the back. On your handle is where you'll find your backup camera. To open up your bed space here, reach in and press the button inside the handle, and it can lower itself down from there. Tundra logo across the back here. You have a little bit of snow inside the bed, so try not to mind that. And then, of course, we have the tie-down hooks and bed rails in the trunk or in the bed space itself. To close it up, just reach down to bring your tailgate back up into its starting position. Next, let's go take a look along the inside. So inside, your interior upholstery is the black cloth with black stitching. You'll also have this bubbling texture on the seats themselves. Now, if you look up top, next to your middle headrest or your passenger headrest, you'll find this little fabric strap. Reach up and release this guy, and then you're able to gain access to the storage spaces in behind the seats. Back here beside, behind the passenger side, you also have your toolkit for your spare. Then down below, you can just reach and lift your seat upwards in order to access all of the storage space that runs the whole length across the rear bench seats. Of course, you can keep this locked in the upright position, and then in a minute, we'll see how to bring it back down by just pulling on this little fabric strap, much like the ones that you have up top there. We've got a couple of accessories stored down beneath here right now. This includes your hitch receiver, as well as the Tundra carpeted mats. All the units come with both carpeted and all-season sets. Now, once again, you just give this a pull, you'll feel it unlock, and then your seat can lower itself the rest of the way down. Looking forward, on the back of your front passenger seat, you've got pouch storage. Back of the console, you have your cup holder spaces, cubby space, and you have chargers in the back. Inside the door, you've got tons of storage, and you've got your power window control. Back again to this little dimple, this guy indicates keyless entry. So if you have the key fob on your person, you can tap your hand up here or inside the handle to lock or unlock your unit. Inside your driver's door, power windows here for both front and back. You've got your window lock, power lock system, and side mirror controls. Up front, you have electronically adjustable seats, back front, up, down, and lumbar support. Hood release latch on the bottom left-hand corner of your dash. Top of that, controls for your rear bed lamps, automatic headlamps, your automatic start-stop, dash brightness, odometer trip, rear parking sensors. You have your heated steering wheel. It is the TRD edition steering wheel. You have these red accent points, and it matches perfectly with the red TRD gear shift there, too. Next to that guy is just headlamp leveling. Hop up here, and we'll take a closer look at the steering wheel features. On the left, controls there are for the dash display. Then you've got your hands-free communication and the volume control. Right-hand side, radio controls on the bottom, adaptive cruise control up top. This includes sonar and lane departure. On top of your dash, you have this little cutout 12 volt adapter on the left hand corner of it. And then underneath is your infotainment display screen. This is where you go to access much of the information about your daily driving experience. Right now you're looking at the optional navigation. If you want to take advantage of this, you can connect this feature through Toyota Connected Services. Then you have your audio listening. So you have AM, FM, and satellite radio. 
Full Bluetooth connectivity includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and there's optional USB adapters throughout, such as the one on the bottom right-hand corner there. Under that is phone connectivity, which you do via Bluetooth. You have your trip information, and then all your settings are at the bottom. So everything from personal profile, Bluetooth connection, Wi-Fi display, voice search, dealer info, apps, etc. Volume control is a knob on the bottom left-hand corner. Underneath is your climate control center. Dual climate control up front means you can have your temperatures synced up so they're always working together, or you can turn off the sink if you want them to function independently. We also have three levels for heated seats on each side for driver and front passenger, and then defrost for front windshield, rear windshield, and your side mirrors is right in the middle. Left of this, you have your red TRD push start ignition, trailer brake controls under there, then you have your trash control, four ways, and you have a rear diff lock. Parking brake and parking holder up front in front of the gear shift. Then you have your two-wheel, four high, and four low controls, driving and towing mode, MTS, and downhill slash call. Storage spaces all throughout the middle, including cup holder spaces. You have the console in the back, two layers of trays. The bottom tray can be slid open to get quick and easy access inside, or you can open it up from either side. Just press the little button inwards and lift it up. You have some interior light stemming from the back, so you can see what's going on here even at nighttime. As you can see, there's lots of different setups for storage. You have some charger points inside here, too. On the right, you've got storage that goes across the passenger side of the dash. Tundra logo on the right-hand corner. Down below, lockable glove box. And up overhead, you've got your sunglasses compartment, SOS button, overhead lighting controls. And on the left, this is the control for that power-adjustable rear windshield. You can take a look at him in action. Press the button in to have it roll down. Pull the button up to have it roll up. And you can stop it at any point along the way to suit your preference. This guy lets you get some good airflow inside of your front cab space. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this Toyota Tundra SR5 TRD Off-Road in the color Lunar Rock. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. You can always reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.